better served to take three to six months to do some groundwork with her and then do some real foundational type training with her and then really start her slowly back on the barrels and then, you know, intersperse the barrels with the regular training and then next year get her out. And by that time, she will be the most awesome horse. You should go to the world and not have a problem with her. You know, that, that horse has got some energy and some, some so talent. So you don't think we should run her any now? I don't think so. You know, you can go to the, the shows and that's fine. Just don't run your horse at the shows. Don't do the barrel pattern at the shows. You know, if they have a warm-up time, I don't know if they do this or not, but if they have a warm-up time beforehand or even after or during the during an intermission someplace, you know, if you can go in there and just ride and just kind of be around the barrels and all that kind of stuff, that'd be fine too. You know, go trail ride and do some, put your barrels back out in the arena out there and just ride her in the same area. You know, just get her to the point. But you're focusing on one specific thing, you know, that day whatever you choose it, it to be. So. so you recommend a lot of hours of trail riding? Lots and lots and lots of trail riding. It's just a good place to do a lot of work. You hear that, bud? A little knowledge. Hear what he said? Said hours and hours and hours. And said trail riding was one of, the, one of the best places to train. All right, every time you speed up to a different gate, you have to retrain the horse to that gate, okay? So we're going to work at the walk for quite a while. And then we can go to the trot. And we're going to work at the trot for a really long time. All right. Would it be like better to do it like daily each time? You should stay at the same thing until you get it right. OK? I know that's kind of, it can be boring, but that's, that's training, all right? So we're going to stay with what I'm doing with her and just asking her to stop and asking her to go, asking her to keep her head down where it's supposed to be. And when I ask you to stop, you're not going to go all over the place, but you're just going to stand right here and just relax. Okay? So every time she moves her body out of a different position, if she comes over here, I'm going to say go back there. If she goes over there, I'm going to say come back here. All right? I'm going to say keep coming back to the same spot and just stand still. Easy, right? Easy peasy. All right, go for it. Good girl. Head down. Good girl. All right. So we're gonna take her around here. And I do this a lot with all my horses. Um, just because it really helps them. Transitions are just great for, left to right transitions are really good for basic control type stuff. It really helps them understand their buttons a little bit better and the, language gets a little clearer to them all right if she starts to dive in i'm going to say no don't dive in pick up my outside rein say drop your nose there you go soften your head soften your neck don't resist that that pressure but simply just uh give to it and relax Listen to what people are saying about Ryan Gingrich. I always came to the barn hoping to have a good ride, but now I'm, I'm very excited, I'm thrilled about the options of what we, she and I might be able to do together in the future. But I think for us, with working with so many kids and so many kids with special needs, your techniques just make it, it makes so much sense and I think it applies so much to what we do with them and, and the ease in which you uh, make it happen and how, how kind it is for the horses. I will be purchasing all of the DVDs because I know we have just scratched the surface of what Pika needs to learn yet and what I need to learn in working with her. There's a, um, a miracle man that you need to check out. His name's Ryan Gingrich and I'm, I promise you, if you will learn and, and see what he has to offer, you will be amazed by the results. Call now and get a free gift with your purchase. Ryan Gingrich has $75 in gifts for you. Sign up now. Ryan Gingrich, the behaviorist, has developed the Connection Club to keep in constant contact with you. Members get an exclusive Ryan Gingrich t-shirt, a monthly DVD, an emergency trail riding compass keychain, over $75 in gifts, plus unlimited access to the online answer zone where Ryan answers your horse behavior questions each month. Sign up now at ryangingrich.com.
I'll do that one down there again. The one on top. Okay, she starts to move too fast and just slow her feet down. Use that outside rein to slow her feet. Okay, your inside rein tells her where to go. Left, or excuse me, right or left, depending on which way you're going. Your outside rein is gonna say either slow down uh, with your feet or bring your nose a little lower, okay? So go ahead and take that one right there. No, put your hands over the, the uh, withers. Okay, now pick up that top one up there. That one right there. And that one right there. Okay, I want you to get this bottom one again. And then I want you to come back right into the center. I want you to stop right in front of me. All right, slow. Good girl. Good job. Well, Kristen, what do you think? It's very different in a very good way. <laughs> All right. What's different about it? What 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 do you like about Rain's behaviors now that she's she's not doing before? What she was doing before? It's her whole attitude's changed. She yeah. seems to listen better. Her head's lower. You can see over her head. <laughs> she's more responsive. You know, less less stressed out. You know, less uh, well tense, mm -hmm. more or less. Right. Right. Oh, good. Think you can figure this out and keep going with, with the program that I, I started for you here? Oh, yes. All right, good. Well, I have to tell you, you have a long, long road ahead of you still. You know, what I do is when I come in here is I give you guys an opportunity to, to have a better horse. You know, and, and that's what we've tried to do this last couple of days. And it's going to be up to you to finish this thing. Okay? Um, we're giving you a DVD. I want you to follow that DVD to, its, to, its, uh, to the T. Take notes. You know, and again, like I've told you, ask questions. You know, get some books. Try to get educated on, on what, what kind of behaviors is she showing and how do you fix that, you know. But the main thing with Rain I want you to really focus on is relax, relax, relax. You know, there's never going to be another thing that uh, helps Rain more than, than just teaching her to relax. So, and Miss Rain, <laughs> you're a good girl. It's been fun riding you. And i got to give you one last hug before I go. You're a good girl, aren't you? Okay. Be good to you, Mama. All right, Kristen. Thank you for having me. Thank you. And if you have any questions, give me a holler. And I will. Good. Well, it's been fun working with a barrel horse this week. If any of you have horses with behavioral problems and you'd like me to help you, please feel free to contact us at our website or call us on our 1-800 number. But until next time, I'm Ryan Gingrich saying be safe, have fun.